What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is me, the real Jack Star, and um, we're gonna do something different. We're not doing, you know, the classic WWE Universe mode, as you could see on what you're watching right now. I am going to review the VGXs for 2013. That it's coming out December 7th. So watch. I'm gonna do a um. Uh, video on my predictions. I'm gonna do a video on like how many I got right and wrong. So otherwise, let's uh, get started. So first of all, I am using my iPad to look at the games and stuff. Um, most anticipated, they had Destiny, Titanfall, South Park: Stick of Truth. Witcher Free, Wild Hunt, and Watch Dogs. I'm actually um, really excited to see Watch Dogs. It looks like a really good game. So I picked that. Um, oh, also put in the comments what you think is going to win. And if you like, you'll agree with me or not. Alright. Game of the Year. They had a lot of good games for this. It was really hard. Um, Bioshock Infinite. GTA V. Super Mario 3D World. The Last of Us. And Tomb Raider. All right, so only two games. Oh, one game I have played, and that's GTA V. But after a while, it got boring. You know, like sometimes when you like get on, it's like, oh, this is fun. Twenty minutes later, this is just bullcrap. Um, maybe people were excited for it. That's why I kind of picked it. But if um, I haven't tried Super Mario 3D World, which I really want to get. I would pick that. It's just like, you know, I'm not sure. I picked GTA 5 because not only is it the game I have, but it's um it's gotten so many like good reviews and stuff. I just, you know, I just picked it. Why not? Um sorry, uh Mr. Level Up. I know you wanted, you know, Tomb Raider, but you never know. All right. Studio of the Year, Original Games, Naughty Dog, uh Rockstar North and Fulbright Company. Obviously, Rockstar is going to win. Hands down, GTA 5, literally, like, I think they're nominated for, like, everything. But you know for a fact that Rockstar got so many, you know, reviews and stuff that's so great that, you know, it, it's there. Alright, for best shooter, Metro Last Night, oh, Last Light. I don't even know what that is, so I'm not even gonna bother. Call of Duty Goats, um, Bioshock Infinite, I didn't know that was a shooting game. And Battlefield. I hate Battlefield. I just I'm sorry, but Battlefield is way too realistic for me. I'm going with Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghost. So, all right, what else? I'm literally voting at the same time while I'm doing this, so you know. All right, best action adventure game. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, GTA 5, excuse me, The Last of Us and Tomb Raider. That's a hard one. Um Assassin's Creed, I have Assassin's Creed 3. It was pretty good. Um, I just don't like stealth games. That's why I don't think I picked it. GTA V, it's not really an action-adventure game. Like, I know that, you know, they have heists and stuff and all that, but I, I don't really know. The Last of Us was really genius, I think, about, like, the, um, you know, apocalypse kind of thing. The theme with it, with zombies. And Tomb Raider. Um, I haven't really seen a lot about Tomb Raider, but, um... I'm checking my notes, literally, who I, what I voted for. Oh. For action, I picked GTA 5. I picked GTA 5. You know, actually, I'm changing. I'm changing that. Screw that. I'm going with, uh, uh it's hard to pick. Which is more, um, intense? Pirates, heist, zombies. I'm going with, uh, zombies are more realistic. When was the last time you heard about a heist happening in New York? I'm going with, the, uh, that's the point of action adventure. It makes you, like, it's not realistic. Screw it, I'm going with The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Screw it. Alright. Best sports game. Alright, I don't play any sports. <laughs> I don't play any sports. And Data 2 Game 14 wasn't nominated. But I do have a friend, and he told me about, like, him playing, um, NHL 14, and how, like, fun and hilarious it was. He literally broke like his hockey stick and you know he he knocks the crap out of people. It's hilarious so I voted for an um NHL fourteen. Alright, best independent game. Um there was let me see. Papers please, the Stanley Parable, uh Kentucky Road Route Zero and Gnome Gone Home. 
I said Gnome Home. What the heck? Um, I picked uh, the Stanley Parable. It's a really fun game. You know, it's much better than the others. I, I'll tell you that right now. I mean, you know, hate me all you want, but I just figure it. All right, best RPG. I don't even know what an RPG is. Oh, wait, I remember. It's like, um, can Pokemon. Like, each one has a turn. Okay. Final Fantasy, obviously, hell no. It's, first of all, it's online. Well, I, I think many Final Fantasy people would like that. But it's XYV. That's 14 already. Come on. Um, Fire Emblem Awakening. Pokemon X and Y and Nino Kuni. I'm going with Pokemon X and Y. A ton of my friends at school have it. They told me about it, like, literally. So I'm going Pokemon X and Y. I was going to... I don't know if I should get it, though. I'm not really a big Pokemon fan, but I was saying I'm probably going to get it just for the hell of it. But, hey, I'm not. I'm probably not. All right. Uh, best fighting game. Dive Kick, which is a no already. Injustice Gods Among Us, Killer Instinct, or Tekken Revolution. Um, Injustice Gods Among Us, hands down. I got the game the Friday... Uh, it came out. It was awesome. I loved it. Um, and I remember getting like all the DLC for it. So hands down, Injustice Gods Among Us. Um, F1 2013. Oh, this is for best driving. Um, Grind 2, Forza Motorsport, and Need for Speed Rivals. I played a lot of Forza Motorsport games back in my you know day. I, I haven't tried Forza Motorsport 5, but I know I've seen gameplay of it. Forza Motorsport. Definitely. It's a great game. Um, need to say, I I think I want to probably try Need for Speed one day. But the other two, I don't even, haven't heard about, so heck no. Best DLC. Alright, this one, I kind of went out on a limb. And I just want to say, I just picked the game that I played. I didn't even get the DLC. I just, like, played um, the game. So, there was Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Dishonored, The Knife of Dunwall, Far Cry Free Blood Dragon, and Mass Effect Free Side Up. I picked up uh, Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2, um, I got the game n the New Year's of 2014. It was awesome. The New Year's, yeah, New Year's Eve. No, New Year's Eve of 2012, because if it was New Year's Eve of 2014, you know, that wouldn't make sense. Alright, best Xbox game. And by the way, I play Xbox, so I know what I'm doing. Bioshock Infinite Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. So heck no on that. I, I don't even know what that game is. GTA 5 and Tomb Raider. Look, I I'm, I don't hardly know a single thing about Tomb Raider, so I'm sorry. I'm not picking that. I'm I'm sorry. I know I know who you are saying I can't believe you didn't pick it. I, I know who you are. Uh I picked GTA 5. I picked GTA 5, because the others I, I don't think they're really interesting. Best PlayStation game. Alright, first of all. I think, like, um, what was it called again? Uh, Beyond Two Souls should have gotten nominated for this. The game was awesome. Um, I really don't know how the hell Raymond Legends got into the PlayStation category when it's more of, like, a Nintendo Wii game. But, you know, whatever. GTA V, Raymond Legends, The Last of Us, and Tomb Raider. I picked The Last of Us because that's, like, my second game I would pick. If Beyond Two Souls wasn't on there, I was going to, you know, pick that. But, whatever. Beyond... The Last of Us. Uh, so far, I think I picked two for GTA 5, two for Last of Us. Alright, best Nintendo game. Um, Wonderful 101. I swear, the guy looks like he wears Nightwing's mask. Everyone does. Um, Super Mario 3D World. Raymond Legends. They, at least they got nominated for that. And Pikmin Free. Pikmin, I, I don't play in Pikmin. Super Mario 3D World, obviously. The game is freaking awesome with, you know, the cats and stuff. I'm a very big Mario and nerd fan. So, yeah. Best PC game. Stanley Parable, Papers, Please. First of all, Papers, Please. Like, it's more of an immigrant, kind of sad, depressing game. So, I'm definitely not picking that. Gone Home, I don't even know what it's about or that. I just see, like, a picture. Battlefield 4. I, I told you this before, and I'm telling you this again. Battlefield 4, I hate it. It's way too realistic compared to, like, Call of Duty, Ghosts, and Halo. I love those two games. But if you compare it to Battlefield, heck no. Like, my kill streaks on there are, like, 1 to 15. It's way too realistic for me. So I obviously pick, you know, Stanley Parable. That's the second game I would obviously pick. All right, what else is there? Do you know, I I'm just guessing, like, right by now, many people are just, like, you know, just 
change the video. Like, I hate this guy right now. Just like, all his games are so horrible, you know. Alright, best handheld game. That means these games are for the 3DS, and I have a 3DS. The ironic thing is I don't have any of them. Alright, Legend of Zelda Link Between Two Worlds. Tear away. I obviously don't know what it's about. It looks like just hand puppets. Um, Animal Crossing New Leaf. I saw gameplay of it. I'm not a big Animal Crossing fan. I probably wanted it, like, one day I am saying, oh, crap. The hell? There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, like, my, uh, um, computer side. Hmm, let me just, you know, turn off on you. Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I'm not really a big Animal Crossing fan. Uh, Pokemon X and Y, I pick. The link, a link between two worlds I've heard about. It's, eh. I'm not really sure about it. Like, you know. Yeah, like I'm saying, I'm not really sure about playing it. Alright, best casual game. This one is a hand down for me. I know what I'm picking. It's between Animal Crossing New Leaf, Disney Infinity, Plants and Zombies 2, It's About Time, and Skyland Swap Force. Skyland Swap Force, I, I am picking. I got the game when it came out, and I, I still play it. It's so much fun. I haven't even beat it yet, but it's so much fun. It's And Disney Infinity practically copied it, but you added more Disney characters. Like, like just like what you would think of it. You put a character down on this portal, it pops up on the screen, and you can get upgrades for them. Each one is, like, different. Eight elements, two swap forces for each character. So if one is has, like, a faster bottom and one has, like, a bubble gun, shockingly one has that, and you could, like, combine them together, and there you go. It's awesome. I love it. Skyline Swap Force all the way. Alright, best voice actor. Um, between uh, Joel, uh, Booker DeWitt, I'm just saying like their game names, Trevor Phillips, and Nathan Dawkins. Trevor Phillips, hands down. Everyone loves Trevor. Well, certain people love Trevor, certain people are like, oh my god, I hate Trevor. He's so freaking messed up. Um, Alright, for best voice actress, um, Ellie... Elizabeth, Laura Croft, and Jodie Holmes. Like I s told you before, Beyond Two Souls, I, I love that game. I, s I played it, I saw it. Best game. My pick, definitely. E I play it at my friend's house. I don't really have a PS3. Alright. But I am getting PlayStation 4, no doubt. So, PlayStation 4 people, you know, I'm there. In June. Alright. Best soundtrack Bioshock Infinite, GTA 5. Nino Kuni, uh, Last of Us. That was a hard one. I think I picked GTA V because most of the songs were really catchy in there. Most of the other songs I really haven't heard. Alright, best song in the game. There was Will the Circle Be Broken by Troy Baker and Courtney Dra Draper. That's a heck no. Eminem Survival. Um, Sleepwalking performed by the Chain Gang of 1974. And ADHD by Kendrick Lamar. I, Eminem, 100%. Survival, the best song ever. Survival of the fittest. Alright, I'm not going to sing. And uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. We have covered Game of the Year, Shooter, Sports, RPG, Driving, Xbox, Nintendo, Handheld, aka like 3DS and stuff. Voice actor, soundtrack, studio, action and adventure, independent, fighting, DLC, PlayStation, PC, casual, voice actress, and best song. And, you know, most anticipated. So, um, yeah, I'll probably put, like, my, um, guesses in, like, the description. And, yeah, that's mostly it, guys. Like, if you enjoyed, subscribe to see more of my videos. 2K14 Universe is, you know, I'm still going to continue that, no doubt. And mostly, I'll just see you next time on more, you know, stuff. Um, probably next week, I will show, I will, like, post another video of, like, my reactions to the VGXs 2014. So, you know, how many I got right, how many I got wrong. Um, and now I think about it, yeah, a game that should have been added on there should have been Infinite Second Son. That's what made me want to get the game. Not the game, uh, PlayStation 4. The game looks freaking awesome. I can't wait to get it. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, guys, see you next time. Real Jack Star. Peace.